Welcome back to Tweaker Garage. We're still working away on the bullnose. All right, so we're going to do a skid plate for the commando here, and I'm going to rebuild the transfer case. So you see this old shovel of a trans mount that hangs down. We're looking to redesign it, get it tucked up nice and high. Uh, you'll see here this bar, I'm actually in line with the trans mount, whereas before it hung down. So I'm going to pick up a good probably two or three inches. And while we're down here, we'll pop the transfer case out and freshen it up. The shift rails were exposed and full of dirt, and that probably explains why it shifted so poorly. So we'll go through it, replace seals, thrust washers, and whatever else needs attention. Slap a fresh coat of paint on it, get it reinstalled with the new skid. So let's get this show on the road. We started under the Jeep, getting everything mocked up. Ultimately, we want to make the front section removable so the transmission is serviceable, and we want good protection for the transfer cases. That's the lowest hanging part. Once we got it more or less figured out, it's on to the bench to get things welded up.
go throw it in. Going from the back. Yeah, I think so. See that tap tap. Do you want to go like this? Really? Anywhere in the ring? I think so. We don't have the 916's drill bit right now and I need it because these tabs still have that laser slag in it which makes those holes really tight. Okay. Up and over all that stuff but don't try to go in the clamp yet because I gotta let these go forward. I can't because of the transmission lines. It's almost there. Come on, just give me a little bit. There we go. The looks of this, it looks like they're way off. But I'm wondering if this whole transmission side set. Oh, my nuts are up in there. Wow, that one fucking. Oh, okay. So they are. Where'd that nut go? Oh, wow. Fuck, yeah. Dude, money. Of course it's money. I built it. It's sitting off that tube, is that? It's sitting off the tube, yeah. Which is good because it only makes these bolts back here more flush. It's but sitting more off, except the front. The front is a little higher than this. Uh, right but this bar is what's holding it down. Yeah, how much though? Is it bad? It's not, it's below the tube. What? Yeah, so, like, how bad are the gaps? Um, it's. Cause like from here it looks great, but oh, I see what you're saying. So I don't know if we want to maybe. So what you can do is this, so it sits up higher. So what you can do is yeah, you can offset and offset. Yeah, yeah, we need to offset exactly right. You can't lose any length though. We just gotta. This is why we breed, so they can lift the heavy shit. Transfer case is going back in. Put the impact over there. Socket over there. It's not a socket, you just slide that thing on. <laughs> this is gonna really suck a lot. We can repaint the tube. Okay, I'm going for it. So despite the skid plate being designed around the transfer case, the tolerances are tight enough that do not allow us to install it and rotate it down. So here we're going to have to lift the transmission up a little bit in order to allow the transfer case to slip into its location.
the yoke clearance looking by the way. I don't know if we got there yet. We have to kind of let it. We gotta lower it. Probably easier said than done. No. The front actually shifts now. That's nice. Nailed it. Okay, cool. Well, so how's the yoke clearance right now? Looks um, like there's lots. Top, well Let's lower this and then I'll answer that question. Looks good. Looks really good. Is it sitting all the way down? Yeah. Oh, can I see this? I want to see this real quick. You know what? I have a brilliant idea. We're gonna cut an access hole right in the floor here for this one bolt. Keith wants to cut an access hole and put plexiglass just to see his beautiful new transfer case and skid plate. Yeah. Ooh. Good case, fans? What? You okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. Throwing wrenches. You getting his. Yeah, throw the wrenches oh you gotta be kidding me what the whole time i could have gotten the box end on it <laughs> that's a bummer okay it's tight oh was this thing just filming my butt the whole time yeah well that's why i shut it off nope it's still recording you have three minutes of footage of my butt why? i don't know i'm trying to figure out how to work this thing All right, last night was up late getting the transfer case and the skid plate back in, got all the drive lines hooked up. Got the twin sticks hooked up. Had to spend some time getting those adjusted. Still got a lot of little loose ends. Need to turn these bolts around here so we don't get damaged from the rocks get everything loaded up with fluid hoping to drive it this weekend at least around the block but it's getting close to go time glad we took the time to rebuild it Our twin sticks are shifting a lot better now before it was really rough a lot of dirt down in the shift rails because they weren't covered up so time to button this up now moving on